Hey guys, we've got more tiebreakers coming from the Frankfurt Majors qualifiers here at the BTS Hub. Woo. We're past the 50 hour mark. Hub number two. Or, er, God, sorry. <laughs> Tiebreak <laughs> round number two. That's uh, what I meant to say. Are we have number one, two? I guess they announced first, so yeah. we're number two. I mean, we're, we're, so, we're the, the America I mean, Hub. Look at us, look at them. We, we're the hub number two. No, we have more viewers. We're hub number one. <laughs> Got them. Yeah. Okay. God, Charlie just goes for the jugular. Okay. No fucking around. <laughs> Look at that big cat butt. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Somebody link that in chat. All right. Everyone, sure everybody that will not be a problem. No, <laughs> not somebody. We want everybody. Yeah. Like everybody. everybody link that. For in all chat. the SEA viewers out there who don't know, this is uh, what is Hip TV making his big casting return, infamous or no, sorry, famous for his wiggling abilities. Wiggling abilities. Yep, and uh, worth checking out. Yep. I'm sure that's. I'm sure it'll be. Uh, It'll make it there now. Yep. Until so you become a big yeah. name caster, take notes. LD and Merlini. <laughs> Not <laughs> quite. <laughs> well, the draft started for Signature Trust versus Mineski. Mineski won game one. So if they win here, then we are not going to um, have to use time rating. Well, potentially correct. have to use time rating. No. Well, okay, so what happens? No if chance of time rating if Mineski wins. Win. Then Wait, okay, so then there's. But if Mineski win, then they have two wins, and then yeah. Sig Trust versus MVP decides second place. Oh, right. Okay. I'm an idiot. You're it's right. only if it's a 1-1-1. One, one, one. Yep. So you're, you're right. Good. You're good. They're not linking it. We'll get there. <sighs> Whatever. We've got SEA viewers don't know where to find it. Like, don't know where it is. They don't, they're not familiar with the, <laughs> the VOD. <laughs> Twitch chat's even better than the link, honestly. Uh, but looking at the... <laughs> you, I don't have to, uh, we're on your right, camera, wait, I guess. Wait, wait, so wait, I can whatever. tab out for Twitch chat. Yeah, yeah good. I, I got yeah, Twitch chat, fine. too, then. That's important. Sig Trust start out with Wyvern, Windranger. Mineski is going to pick up Klopp, Night yep. Stalker, Ember. Mm -hmm. So Wyvern, a, also a block pick and just something it means they didn't have to also commit a ban to it. Mineski always first to pick the Wyvern. They got it last game. Um, and probably the most important thing was this time Mineski will not let Sig Trust get the IO Tiny. So there was a ban on that. That's um, how they beat them in the last. Oh gosh, Mineski picked Ember. They had a pretty damn awful Ember showing in their last game, but... Who's their Ember player? Spirit that game, it was Jay, uh, the ra Radiant the raging whatever name he's using at the moment. Okay, um, raging potato. Yeah, raging potato. Oh. He played the Ember. Cuckoo can also play it. Cuckoo's like their young pop star type player. Is is Sig is Sig Trust like? A, do they typically pick Spirit Breaker? Because if if this is not like a signature hero for them, I don't really see the point of it too much here. Mm, not signature hero for them by any means. I don't like it too much. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, like generally, generally, I feel like yeah, you Five want a spirit breaker remain. when there's a there's like a one position carry that that really gets like Reserve fucked on time. by spirit breaker, like anti mage or or whatever. Like I feel like not that necessary here. Ember can cancel with um, chains. It's okay against queen, um, but really not. So I don't I don't really see the point of Spirit mm -hmm. Breaker here. Well, I definitely agree with you. Just because I th I think if you pretend Bolus was not an ability that existed, it'd probably be okay. But fortunately, it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Ember Spirit has three skills yep. now, and oh, what a great pick! Whew. Got him. Fantastic stuff. Let's pretend. But right. uh, bands Drow's band out. And that was, I think, mm. banned out in the last... I'm getting a couple these series confused now, but I think... Was Mineski banned out in the last uh, game as well? I don't think so, because Iotani, Iotani was picked up, and they weren't going to go Drow with Iotani picked up. Oh, God, sorry. I forgot. Yeah. Greg. I forgot I can't Greg. alt-tab. I was going to check that Dota. Yeah. It, what, what, is, what, is, what is with these, like, silencer picks when... Okay, there, there's definitely no point of silencer here. Like... You can it, is, it a, is it a block pick? I can understand if, if it's a block pick because I don't think so. I well. I, no, I no, no. I, I, it could be. It could be. I wouldn't say there's no point whatsoever. I feel like blink initiators or M in Ember Spirit, these fire moments in benefit from having global because it means they can remaining. use that initiation aggressively in Klopp's case, blink in, put it on cooldown, and then you have the global Five silence to protect you from Nether Strike, Shackle, like whatever it may be. I, I guess. Reserve time. I just it does synergize somewhat with these playmaking mid game kind of cores that want to just go in and be aggressive. Fair. It doesn't counter any of the Sig Trust heroes, though. Is no, definitely it, the point it, you're it, making, yeah, which yeah, I agree it, with. It, it doesn't, and I feel like um, I don't know. It's just not necessary now. 
I feel like when you when you pick it not last uh, and not to block pick or or not to um, I don't know. I'm not bailing okay. you out of this one. No, I, I mean, it's just... I I just feel like it was unnecessary this mm -hmm. early. Well, it's now going to get wrecked in lane, too, because there's yeah. some dying. <laughs> so, <laughs> and like, we, it's like not when you, we, when you pick it and they have, like, two picks left, you can exploit it as well. Yeah. You're not going to pick a pick into it with a carry that gets countered by the silencer. I mean, he's going to get he's gonna get run at by the undying. He's going to get... uh. Like seconds. run out by the spirit breaker. Mm -hmm. um, he's gonna have a, a really hard back. game. Well, we'll see. Last couple picks coming out now. Maneski looking for support slash offlane. Well, I mean they can they've run a co-op in the offlane, so they can actually get all kinds of things here, depending on where Night Soak is going. Sigtrust definitely remaining. looking for Lakel's carry though. Five seconds remaining. Mm -hmm. What has he played in the last couple of games? He's played mm. Tiny Wisp. He's played Gyro, I think. He's played Gyro. I was just about to say, Gyro's not bad, and it's a good hero to quickly Seems break, pretty the, good in this game. break the Flame Guard against Ember. I've seen yeah. quite a few teams run Gyro versus Ember. Um, what else does he play? Any other strong possibilities? Tiny, I mean, the IO Tiny, but I don't yeah, think but you, you're not going to go Tiny without the IO. So Oshika gets banned out, and we'll see what Maneski grab his their last pick, I don't know, could be support, could be a number of things. Especially with Undying Spirit Breaker as like an offlane duo, Queen of Pain suddenly becomes a bit stronger as a potential offlane hero, if you want to run that. I mean, Spirit then Breaker and Undying is probably going to be in the offlane, so yeah. you, you want a safe lane Queen of Pain against that. Ten seconds remaining. And just put Ember mid instead against what, Wind Ranger, or do you dodge and put Five Ember offlane with remaining. a support? Uh, I guess you wait and see what, um, what they pick as their yeah. core. Reserve time. Hmm. It's very much a hard game to yeah, but give Ember an easy lane. I guess the easiest yeah. may be mid. Just get poor man's shield, a couple of tangos pulled. And, I mean, I this know. is, again, the problem with Silencer is that you you have really yeah. weak lanes. Yeah, if you had a strong support, you could actually safe lane versus Spirit Breaker on dying a bit better. And that's where I, if they want to put Ember safe lane, they need to get another just strong, solid support to go with the Silencer. What do you feel about all like the the AA picks? Because all the American teams like value it as a top pick or two. Yeah, I I think I think partly that's because um, a lot of the American teams have been picking uh, Alchemist. Yeah, Al Oscar occasionally Al comes Al out. Oscar. Right, and it's okay against Doom. Oh. You you cancel the uh, mm -hmm. you cancel the the what the f yeah <laughs> I was I was like you finish your point. Uh, <laughs> well. I think uh, it was safe lane Ember. I think it was Minescu we saw play Timbersaw earlier. Oh, and like uh, Maybe it was yesterday. I, I, I think I was casting... I have not seen Timbersaw yet. I saw Timbersaw just go massive. It was against like four strength heroes and it just... I mean, wrecked. I guess it's okay against Spirit Breaker Undying. Yeah. Ten seconds this remaining. is... Hmm. Let's see what Sig Trust get against this for the carry. Five seconds remaining. Timbersaw. I feel like... Oh, I think this number is going to get wrecked. It does mean if Sigtrust are going for a Wyvern plus one safe lane, they need a carry that can zone Timbersaw well, which is probably the Gyro. I think Gyro is like just a safe pick, but the alternative is getting something with more late game. How concerned are you that Mineski has no stuns beyond Bolas? <laughs> Bolas? I mean, Void is not like a stun. It's, I mean, it's going to mini stun to it, but yeah. I'm, I'm not concerned. Like, what do you need to keep in place? You don't like, need a lock what, what do You, you don't need yet. lockdown this game, uh, depending on what the last pick is, but... Uh, I, was just, I, was, I was thinking the hard carry, like, Spec AM. That's not a pick against Timbersaw, though, really. Yeah. I'm not well, sure what's... Be like, the better option is the safe pick of a gyro. <laughs> hmm. I, 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 wouldn't have, these drafts. I wouldn't have liked Gyro that much here. Mm -hmm. um, I think here the, the thing is, I think if Sig Trust can, can get out of laning phase um, semi-decently and get Spectre off to a, to a fair Radiance timing, um, yeah. I think their, their draft works a lot better. They take team mm -hmm. fights um, pretty well. You have Win Arrival for the lockdown against Ember or Quap, and... Um, Undying is always a team fight beast, um, and Wind Ranger is 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 pretty good all around. It's good lockdown, and then um, it's 
you you have really good ways to to follow up all your lockdown just because you have specter haunt and like i said if you if you get them off to a decent radiance timing um i can see team fights working yep. out pretty well for them the one thing adjustment they might want to make which we've seen some teams do is it, undying normally you'd say like he off lanes in the dual lane but i feel like you almost want him safe lane against a timbers or night stalker lane undying is almost better at zoning than a wyvern or you may even want to try lane like to me you can't just i don't know it's specter to have a good laning stage against no, these no, two heroes no you don't you you definitely want to it, it really depends on how mineski drafts this um i think they're gonna have the option to to sort of dictate lanes mm -hmm. simply because they don't have the specter yeah um specter has to go safe lane right i mean i it, it's really hard for me to say how the timber saw is going to go i mean it's not like a we really see a lot of Timbersaw matchups nowadays. Mm -hmm. Well, Timbersaw for now heading towards bottom, which is curious. Let's see if that remains the case. That's quite the timber set. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that is a really cool timber set. Huh. Is that a new one? Is that like one of the ones oh, that just came? It, it may have just come out. It says not tradable. I wonder if it came out in the recent Chainsaw of the Molten Destructor. Yo, that, Dude, this that's a legit action. set. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm on board. Well, it looks like the, the Ember actually did go for the PMS full, t full tangos and salve. Yeah, looks like Quop is going safe lane against the like the potential Undying Spirit Breaker dual lane. Wow, they got the D-Ward. <laughs> that is... Why is he... Alright, he's just cancelling his attacks. Mind games. I don't know. Okay. Just rubbing it in. Um. No. That's I. 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 I like this lane setup out of Mineski. Um. You know the the Quap is is fair against the um, Spirit Breaker on Dying Lane, and then uh, their safe lane is going to be pretty weak. It's just a it's a Spectre Winter Wyvern. Um. You can like Night Stalker and uh, Timber against that or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess they're, they're doing Quap off lane. With yeah. The and then they're going to send the. Uh, Timber the timber bottom, and this has always been Timber's problem. It's a hero that needs a lot of farm levels. Like you can't just run him as an offlaner and have, expect him to have an impact by sheer levels alone. He needs a few items. He needs to tank up. Needs the mana pool from like arcane boots and later bloodstone. Giving him favorable one v one matchups is one of the better ways to fit him into a lineup, yeah. which is kind of what he's got here. He he definitely has that here. He has the silencer to back him well as back him up as well. This is, uh, I think. Mineski is going to win um, two, two out of three lanes here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see. The top lane for now, Quop going for Shadow Strike takes a bit of harass from Lakels early on, but not the, the biggest of deals. Are we on my camera or yours, Greg? Uh, yours. Okay. My, my we can do mine if you want. I don't, I don't know. really care. Okay. I'm either. I'm so fine with that. I got smooth, draggy stuff on. So this is good. This is what this is what Signature Trust really need to do is to really secure Spectre's farm. So they've moved the Undying up. They've moved the um, Wyvern are, the Wyvern yeah. yeah. Try to keep Quap as far away from the as possible. Hmm. They're actually gonna they're ending up with this dual lane bottom. Yeah. There's. Not much Sig Trust can do to prevent Timbersaw getting some farm here. And yeah. If anything, the fact sounds is here means Timbersaw is not getting solo XP, which is kind of, I feel a bit detrimental to what Timbersaw really wants. I don't think, I think, I don't really think uh, Silencer needs to be down here. Oh. Yeah, just Flame Guard, Searing Chains. Run and him. Then, yeah, bo Boots first, Night Stalker, and Wind Ranger obviously going to be going for the Bottle Rush. That's one way to kind of ensure that the summer gets an okay beginning at least. He's going to have a bottle coming out now, so should shirt up a bit. I mean, my biggest worry in this is that Ember does not have a lot of HP and assuming that my pro, yeah, he's already has more levels than power shot. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, assuming he gets power shot. It's the same. Yeah, he's going mid. If you yeah. get power <laughs> shots in mid and something wrong. You need to reevaluate your life decisions most likely. Okay, so this is good. Um, the the silencer's gotten out of bot lane. He realizes he really doesn't need to be there. Um, I might, and then looks like he's going up top to help contest the uh, specter's farm, which is 
<laughs> what he does need to do. And it's going to hit nighttime fairly soon, so that's where I feel Mineski will hit at least a timing where they can have a real kill threat, not just contest his farm and slow him down, but find kills either in the top lane or with a Night Soccer rotation back towards mid. Oh, Shackle Ooh. mid, power shot to follow. Sure. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. You can stay on Greg's. I, he's, he's, I, tr I trust Greg. Such confidence. I just really want to be able to not worry about missing kills. <laughs> not have to, not to worry well, about it. It's it's nice. Like even if I can see a kill happening, sometimes I just want to like not look at I, it. My my brain, my my track of thought will just want to follow something or like investigate some area, and then I'm just like, ah, I don't care if I miss a kill, if I'm looking at something else. Yeah. Another gang coming in mid. Oh, yeah, they get the bolus off here. My pro and. Quite a bit of trouble does oh. have the wind run. In comes Boom Bell, does have Cold Embrace. Cold Embraces him up. Void, uh, Void is two seconds from being oh, able to tower damage. Here. They get him, but Ember falls in exchange. Uh, he got the kill first. It's yeah. worth it. Yeah. Worth. Could have tried to switch tower aggro onto Je Jesse Vash, but. Oh, Spectre's dead. Oh, rip. Greg, you're freaking useless. Rip camera. <laughs> yeah, should have stayed on mine. <laughs> All right, I'm in the zone now. No more, no more missing kills. I wasn't yeah, ready. We'll see about that. Okay, this this is a good prop bet. Over under on how many kills Greg misses. <laughs> I'm under whatever it is. I'm gonna say. Um, we reset the line. You set the line, Greg. All right, all right, Greg. Wait, if you're going. Oh, yeah, yeah, you set the line since you're saying under. You can't set it too high, I guess. Yeah. Uh. You set the line and we decide over or under, and you have to go with the other. Three point five. I've been casting for like. Three point five. I've okay, de like definitely over 3.5. Okay. I'm going to go with... They're definitely missing more than and if four there's two kills. Not counting the last one. If there's two kills at the same time in different count. areas, it does count. No, 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 I think we say it does count. What? That's you can bullshit, change, then. Well, you can change the line there. Obviously, 5. that's... 5.5. 5.5? 5. 5? What, what is this point five stuff? It's well, you choose over so under. It's not an even number. So it's over oh. under is two different okay, numbers. Okay, okay. If you said an integer, okay, then... Okay, okay, okay. What if it's exactly that number? Okay, no, I'll, I'll say over. Over 5.5? Yeah. I'll go under. I believe in you, Greg. I don't. <laughs> I don't. So you're under, Greg? I'm under. Are, yeah. you, are you catching these kills? Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, good. I, I'm just going to watch your screen. See, I like choosing under because like, now now I have a reason to try not missing any kills. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll get your back. Uh-oh. Oh, my Wait, God. Okay, okay. that... Is it worth it for the Spectre? And Ember, for now, off to a pretty good start. Has a pretty early level 6, and we'll be looking for a fast drums pickup. Just not going to cast this whole game. i turned into a dedicated observer for my chips. Okay. No, I'm kidding. Oh, top lane, they've gone back in. Boom Bell. We'll go down. Cop just teeping up here, and with the Tomb dead, this may be a secondary kill going their way. Yeah, they're going to get it. Yeah. There's a kill yeah. bot that I'm watching on the minimap, but yeah, I can't can't see it because we're watching the screen. Oh, this is some horseshit rules. All right, so that's one. This is bullshit. I can't watch two places at once. That's 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 life. That's why you that said, is that's shit. Why, well, it's not really like, not miss kills to say the miss kill is your fault. It's okay, just, uh, fine. Yeah. How else do you determine whether it's a miss kill or not? Like, what if they're three seconds apart? Like, what what is the time limit between? All right, that's fine. Fair enough. I see your point. So what I started at 5.5. Yeah, you're at one. So I'm at one. I'm gonna hope for a quick I game. Mean, yeah, I mean, this, if this I game mean, goes over 40 minutes, technically then. you're at two. Well, yeah, that one doesn't count though. Sure. You can't. You can't. You know, it's just too much. All right. Blood on the ground looks like. For now, the mid Ember four and two much better compared to the last Ember game we saw. Jay. All right, Greg. I'm gonna do this for your viewers. Thanks. Did you put net worth up? Yeah. You sure did. It's not a miss kill, but it's pretty questionable. <laughs> was that a mistake? No. Does that count? seven minutes. Yeah, it's seven CS minutes. is still interesting. I'm, I'm still on No, CS. I, I mean, landing stage broke down. Oh, God. Rip. CS is actually only interesting for like four minutes, to, it feels like. Uh, yeah. Depends on how many kills there are. You're diving in top with Kells. Oh, don't give him cues. I mean, I'm. He's part I'm of. I'm on his, his side. He went under, dude. <laughs> All right, actually, I'm correct. All right, we'll we'll see. I'll. I'll, uh, I'll be neutral for now. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. My pro, is actually in some trouble here, but he does have win run, so it should be okay. 
He's fine. Yeah. And Nighttime will end soon, which is where Sigtrust should get some breathing room. It just doesn't feel like they've done well enough in the laning stage. The Kells has three deaths and not much farm to show for his There's charge on the Queen of Pain. Oh, no, he canceled. He canceled it. Yeah. So the Kells just going to probably pick up early fighting items. Treads. Maybe, maybe an urn. We're not seeing a huge amount of urn purchases on Spectre throughout SCA from what I've seen, but... Does anyone else on us? Nope. Does yeah, he'll definitely get the urn. Oh, he's he's getting pressured so much. I can't imagine that he's gonna. Oh, yeah. The alternative is to get like a oh, ring of Aquila no. and Cook go for the rip. like a more of a jungle spectre with the poor man shield ring of Aquila. But he'll he'll definitely get. I feel some small item on top of the poor man shield. He can't just sit where he no, is now. He At least a, a bracer, a Aquila, an urn. He needs. I think he needs I think a few he should items. go the the urn. I think. Um, Drums is a little too much. Yeah. Um, the casual brace is so so. If he doesn't, because if he if he doesn't hit that yeah. that good radiance timing, um, I don't see how Sigmund the Trust really wins this game. He's picked up a gauntlet, so it looks like it will be an urn. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, my pro potentially in some trouble again. In goes the remnant. There's a charge coming in as well. My pro is going to fall. Is the Earth Shaker going to come in? Or the sorry, Spearbreaker going to come in? Looks like he is. Oh, cancels it. I almost got the core here. At this point, for Spec oh, Spectre. Oh, dear. Oh, Still has the haste room from top lane as oh, well. Does not get out. Yeah. For, for Spectre, it's very much your catch up is going to come from being involved in kills with Haunt and then trying to get an urn charge or two, using those to try to get kills with your next Haunt. Oh, Nether Strike back. Bashed as well. In comes the Tombstone. He's out of mana. They're going to turn back around. Winter's Curse going to go down onto the Ember Spear. That means he's going to be falling. Nice heal up onto the Spirit Breaker, keeping him out of danger. And Timber even rotated in, but doesn't really find too much. And Timber hasn't done anything this game, but that's just... The hero doesn't... He's not like a hero who can TP in and turn ganks around very easily. Yeah, that's okay. He's getting his yep. levels. He just needs his farm. Um, eventually, he'll do a lot against the Undying. Um, he'll always do a lot against Spectre. Like, Spectre's gonna... Yeah. That to me is the big wire with the Spectre pick, is picking it into Timbersaw. Timbersaw, because yeah. you just... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um... I think, uh... Bottom lane, Spirit Breaker, definitely gonna go down. Oh! Maybe not. Oh God, maybe not. One more There's a scream. Oh, He's dead. He's Deny him? Deny him? Deny him? Okay. Oh, oh, he didn't think... Didn't... I guess they they he was poisoned. No, they, they messed up on that. Yeah. Um, no, without... <laughs> definitely messed but, up. But, uh... You got really lucky with that bash. 17%. Mm -hmm. But um, besides that, I think uh, Mineski actually they picked really well into uh, into Signature Trust's draft. They saw the um, Spirit Breaker on dying, but they weren't able to. Signature Trust wasn't able to use the Spirit Breaker on dying the way they wanted to. They wanted to offlane it, um, have a really cancerous offlaner, but um, Mineski managed to force them into using this. The, the Undying to babysit a Spectre that is just getting dumped on right now. Yeah, he's getting absolutely wrecked. He is nothing. One in five. Whoa. Okay, Kuri is bringing a single gauntlet. That's the difference maker. When your Kuri is just coming, delivering a single gauntlet, you know. Times I mean, he rough. won't be able to get bursted by Whoa, the co anymore. Whoa, mid, rip. Even if it hits, I don't think it does. I don't, I don't think he does. Probably not. Yeah, he has playing guard. Probably not. You're right. Winter's, Winter's Curse could have come out if Wyvern wanted to. He wasn't that rotate, close. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're going to try to get a killer two top. Pressuring Lakels again. Cuckoo's here, but Spear Breaker's here, and there's going to be a haunt. He moves forward to try to kill Cuckoo. They want to burst him down before he can use his wave, and they do. Jesse Vash now the one who's on the run, so after trying to get a kill, a really nice turnaround, and I think that, that haunt was two heroes as well. Got the kill. That was, that was good. Yeah. Very good. Spearbreaker going back in here on Vash. There's the Splinter Blast as well. Winter's Curse. That's going to be the end of Jesse Vash. Is the Spearbreaker going to go down? Nope. Bottom. Suddenly, Spectre has 1,100 gold. Spectre, a minute ago, was currying out a single gauntlet, not even his completed urn, and then two kills like that, he's back in the game. Actually, TP's bottom as well with the farm of the tower, but this is a risky place to be. Oh, in he goes. There's no mana for Lakels either, but... That's TP is going to be enough to force out the timber saw. There's a charge coming too, but that's just to get him out to land. Yeah, they can't really commit to this oh, one. Someone says pay the meme fee. Who memed? Is it you? What? Who so, memed? I don't know. <laughs> no, no one knows. Twitch chat. 
Mm. We'll, we'll give a pass. No one meme drop? Oh, okay. Nah. Yeah, rip's just a word that I say. It's Instead a gurgism. It's a gurgism, yeah. It's gonna be the Aghanims again for Jesse Vash, but he's not gonna be going for the Midas, which we've seen a lot of Night Stalkers get early. There's also a smoke bottom. Oh god. They're going they feel to... the miss kill coming. They don't the silence is not worth it. it. They may just take it, but it's not, not a value they're kill. For. They're gonna delay his uh Oh bash. His Midas. Got him. Silence doesn't really care about dying there. It does not. And once you're down there with the smoke, you take the kill because it's better than nothing. Yeah, it's better than it's... like leave. Don't just leave. I guess they could have, ro and if they rotate to the jungle, there's no guarantees they find a kill. So it's very much just like, well, if it's the safe kill, we'll take it. Now Sig Trust, do not want to let Queen of Pain get this tower mid. Has been glyphed, but Timbersaw rocks up and... Raquel's potentially in some trouble. Tombstone is going to go down. They do get the tower. In comes the Spirit Breaker. He's going to go all the way through to Cuckoo. Timbersaw manages to get out of here. Cuckoo caught up. There's the Global Silence coming down, so there's no Nether Strike available. He is Break, still taking please. a lot of damage. Oh, no. One goes down. Spirit Breaker, not looking like he's gonna make it out of here. Oh. That's a, that is a satisfying ability, and I even caught the kill top. You got that last kill? I'm you, so oh, good. You wow. missed one. There was what? another kill. I'm, yeah. I'm on your no, side. No, 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 no. This there, there was. There was. I was the, watching the whole fight top, and I was just like, the Wind Ranger oh. died. Yeah. The Wind Ranger died. It. So that's three. That's two. No, it's two. Two. Okay. The first one. Okay. The first. Oh. The bet was after the first one. Yeah. All right. Or two. I mean, that was that was super worth it for uh, Mineski. Yeah. Only their their offlaner dies for three, and it's Ember who's getting mo got two kills up top lane. I don't know if he got the last hit for both, but he was involved in it. And Ember is starting to get a little out of control here. Yeah, he is. He's gonna pick up a having a much better well. game than the last time oh, we man. we saw uh, rune. him play it. This is his second haste already this game. Charge coming bottom, but looks like they're gonna try to defend canceled. the tier one. Yeah. At least, uh, I mean, Winterrunner and Spirit Breaker are here. There's another hero coming over. It's Boom Bell. I think Kokko's Yules this game against Spirit Breaker. Has Staff of Wizardry. Just well, let's definitely against Silence. Uh, no, sorry, Silence is on their team. But, it seems but it's your, it's your offlane co-op, so it's, it, it's not that important that he gets, um, like, really yes. big items. And both Timber and Ember are doing well for farm, so you can expect them to be able to make up for so you going So is a Night Stalker. Yeah, this is going to be a fast axe from Jesse Vash. It's more farm than the Spectre. <laughs> Not great. Mm. Yeah, one in six Spectre now on the kills. Like might be the target of another gank here. There's no haunt for four seconds, so not going to be able to haunt out of here as soon as long as she dies before this. And she's going to go down. Yeah, not even going to use haunt. Don't not use not it, yeah. worth it. She kind of pan. There was like a panic haunt in the, the first time she got ganked, but focus fire on bot. Yeah. Are they actually gonna try to defend this? They have global. Yeah, they're doing it. Well, in comes the oh, Ember Spirit, yeah, Cold Embrace, but unfortunately there's a Quap right next to you, so that's not gonna do you want, but the Shackle Shot is gonna latch. Is that gonna be enough for they them to kill, kill the him. Ember they're, Spirit? No way. No. Not even close. Does not look like this. It. My pro is dead. That was just reckless. Big Trust yep. just overextending here. No, bad, bad call from Abba who charged into that one. Now he needs to find his charge out. It's like, oh, nice. Oh, they got the chains. Rip. They're gonna get him. Yeah. Drums and everything. Want to kill him before the next charge comes up. Down he goes. Yep. So that's. All the meanwhile, Timbersaw is just causing the ruckus top. Well, it's strange because Timbersaw is kind of like the backup plan. Like, if Spectre starts to get some items, Spectre still will not be out of team fight into like the max, the level two Chakram plus maxed out Whirling Death Timber Chain. That's just instantly three quarters of your HP gone as a Spectre. They dropped the Tomb Top as well. Right. Mm -hmm. I guess just defend slash push out the lane before well, the, the Undying got really low. I think the Timber Saw oh, okay. tried to initiate yeah. on him. That's right. Drop the zoning tomb. And the co-op yield is now complete, so that's going to make Spirit Breaker's life a bit harder. I like that, actually. I think that's well, a good pick up this game. We may break the tiebreak circle. It looks like. Looks like it might happen. Top four net worth here is all a Mineski. It's looking pretty tilted. It's not over in the sense like, okay, there's, I mean, there's, there's no a, comeback. Yeah, like they do have a Spectre, yeah. but the Spectre has absolutely nothing. And it's still early game where Ember doesn't have a defensive item, so finding pickoffs is 
very feasible if you can land a shackle you've got a charge plus nether strike there uh, you've got winter's curse there's great ways for sig trust to take fights so it's just got such a big item disadvantage look how much they have to commit now to protect the kells boom bell is sitting here the undying is still sitting here they've gone back to the four protecting one gods Oof. and that's uh, that's a bad sign that's not not, not how they want to be playing he does use his charge. He's actually going to try to kill the Ember Spirit. They haunt in, but he has a remnant, so he just makes it out of here. Wasted haunt. That's not what you want. 1,100 gold. I think he could have haunted a little there. sooner and then got, like, an extra Desolated off. Or maybe even... if he, need, he needed two more right clicks to get the kill from really, the Spectre. They're going to try to push this here. I think that... Uh, they don't have... I don't think this is a good idea. They don't have Spectre all... <laughs> the uh, Bop has everything. And level 11, this does not seem like a great I think Spectre all really matters. As long as Spectre's there, then you get this. It's not like it does a lot of damage. They also... Oh, but I, mean, I, I don't think yeah, they can push I mean, either way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not like it's a Queen of Pain ult or something they're missing where it's like a big source of damage. But Timbersaw got his Bloodstone 18 minutes. That's pretty good. Boom bell. All right. That's they caught up. Bold Embrace. Yeah. And he is definitely going to go down. They Overly cautious global. Yeah, they they thought Sig Trust were going to engage there, but, but they just let the oh Spectre gets caught out. Lakel's, no, he's caught. He has Sonic Wave available as well, and Lakel's definitely not going to make it out of here. They're not even going to use it. Ember's no actually also needed. really good against Spectre whenever he tries to juke over trees. I think. I think their true trust just they they did not get off to a good start in the laning phase. Yeah. I think how they wanted to to take this game would be those other four heroes. Run around and create havoc. Well, look, is kind of back to what you said, where it's like Mineski have complete control as to how the lanes will go, like what the lanes are. There was no alternative for Sig Trust with the draft they did. They're committed to the Spectre in the safe lane. Right. And it, it really pigeonholed them into mm -hmm. to what they wanted to do. Yeah. Toilet. <laughs> it's only 20 minutes in. I've right. been playing for, what, four hours now, five hours? It's, it, the tiebreaker started five hours ago. This is going to be a long, exhausting tiebreakers for these teams. They've got yeah. to play like There's potentially two best of threes after this. Are there any uh, tiebreakers in China? China China's started still a day has later. Day. Yeah. Okay. They're on a day two of group stage. So and they only has one game. It's uh, unknown versus live. Mm -hmm. I feel like China gets interesting in the playoffs, but before then, it's it's, it's very top and bottom heavy with a few sure. teams. So. We've been following SEA, mostly. Yeah, we haven't really watched it. China. Well, you can't really watch the China games. Yeah. is the problem because... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's perfect world. Perfect yeah. world plus Reborn. <laughs> perfect world plus Reborn. Yeah. GG. And it was just like SEA started a day early, so we cast all the SEA games. So day two was like, well, let's keep watching SEA since... Yeah, it, since the game two, the day two that. matches are suddenly exciting because they decide the group. Day one matches don't decide the group. And now it's playoff, so... Hmm. All the course for Sig Trust is getting crushed. My pros five deaths, Spectre has a lot of deaths. I thought he was actually going to go in there. Uh, he that's he was just solo him. charging in. Yeah, uh, he had no like, backup. What's going on? <laughs> just for uh, just for the movement, like 150 man and move like 10 feet. He ran right next to the Night Stalker. <laughs> for now, Sig Trust, their only hope is that one crazy team fight somehow goes their way Mineski misused their spells sig trust hit la hit and land everything like a great five four hero winter's curse and lakel's secures the kills because that's something going to be like a 2k gold ingest if he can actually get last yeah, six he, on these kills he, he needs he, just chaos he, he has not had very He's good item progress joke item progression He's yeah eight deaths yeah. picked up a bracer that's the item progression <laughs> Kind of Do you just forego the radiance here? No, I don't think you can. I don't think uh, you can either. But you're not going to win the game unless you somehow yeah get you that. Like you, I mean, you need miracle fight. Yeah. yeah. There's no other. I, there's no item which will help give you a better fight for a specter. No, they're the wrong. But like you know, get a you yasher, you get you diffusal. Get diffusal. Oh, What's that? It's not really going to do much. You still can't... Oh. Diffusal is a fighting item. You don't want to play the fighting style against the Timber Soul. I mean, they, they, they do have a fighting... Global Silence is used. Co-op is the only one who's even close to the heroes, though. So, honestly, kind of a waste of a global. There's the Winter's Curse onto a couple. And All right. duels oh. up oh, in the air. Deals. One goes down in the back lines. This fight is super spread out. They need to fight by the tomb. They're running away from the tomb now. And they're done for. Boom, yeah. falls. Oh god, the lag. Oh, please. Lord. Kells is gonna die as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, those don't count as missed kills just because reborn. Excuse me? <laughs> it's just like lagging because you don't actually see them die. Oh, the, uh, everyone died from Sig Trust. Yep. That's the, the problem is is that it's not good. Th they have a fighting lineup. Like they have four heroes that want to yeah. fight. And they thought they could pick a kind of greedier carry because that greedy carry can also come to the fight for the like, clean cleanup kill. Perspective right. fits in well with a four hero fighting lineup. If you have a good lane. Yeah. But um they just they got pigeonholed by that Spectre pick. Yeah. I think if they had like a if we did, okay, so let's say they had picked the gyro instead of the specter. I feel like I don't, uh, know, if I don't, I don't know if that would have really. I think there's other heroes that could have made them have more flexible lanes. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh, oh god! It would have been better for sure. Yeah, Definitely. I think at least they could fight a little bit with it. You know, specter actually mm. does nothing right now. The other hero that Kells has played a bit die. of is like Clinks as well as another. He suicides. That's important. Kind of just more fighting oriented carry he could play. I don't know. It just the Spectre just does doesn't work here. I I get the concept behind it, but the lanes just didn't work out. I think um, they really underestimated the the flexibility of Mineski's draft. Um, I mean, Silencer didn't even have an impact. Like Silencer went bottom, didn't do anything, then went top, didn't really. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, is Silencer was, has done nothing. Mineski's really draft, which felt like only four heroes were having a powerful laning, laning stage. Right. Nice Ogre seems to be a, a top pick though. Whenever, like it's as far as the qualifiers go, this has yeah. been a very In all successful regions, basically. hero. Yeah. He needs to pick up a gem. Do they have one? Uh, doesn't look nope. like it. He should. They should definitely He's pick up a gem soon and just close this game out. Hasn't got the money for it quite yet. <laughs> I guess someone like. wants to farm. No, it's just the wireless, probably. Mine's the line. They are gonna try to take Doom Bell down. Look, no. Whoa, makes Clicks. it out barely. Should use the iron charge. Hmm. But it doesn't really feel like Sig Trust are doing anything to move this game more in their direction, you know? Like, Lakels is what? just kind of extremely slowly farming. He's only up to 1800 gold. Problem is he comes to every one of these fights and dies in every yeah. single fight. There's nothing they can do apart from go for those four men smoke ganks and try find a pick off. And just they want to find a pick off, not a big team fight like that happened last time. As much as they've got a, like the fighting team fight heroes of Undying, they're too far behind in terms of items. So Spirit Breaker is going in. He's got this guy. So. <laughs> and last mm. fight, Timbersaw even got a Bloodstone deny off. So that was. Yep. Just like another kill they just didn't get. I mean, when you just look at the net worth, this game just is over. I I mean, I don't want to say it's, I, it's the 20k it seems, goal. It's the biggest lead we've seen in any of these tiebreak matches. It's just one fight can turn it so quickly with Spectre getting. I mean, sure, a few, if they win kills. the fight, the issue is how do they happen. how do they win this fight? This, the Spectre has no damage. Use Amber their, has use a their right damage now. against them with Winter's Curse. <laughs> get a five man Winter's Curse. No. Yes, that is the dream. They have Even no then, way to, to set that up. And there's not really that much single target right click damage. All right. Oh, wow, this is a very YOLO play. This might give them some opportunity. Kels, he's Global Silence is going to keep them from being able to do much. But Lakels is just going to die. Got isolated. His supports just abandoned him. They got spread out. And now Boom Bell is going to fall as well. So he tried to run away. Did not help. Yeah. Goes down as well. I, it's I definitely with you guys. It's, it's probably more than over at this point. Yeah. I mean, I see what you're saying. Like, I think it was more there's like... There's always a small potential yeah. that... They get like a five man first and then they turn the game around. It was like but. maybe five minutes ago before before that fight happened where they went for the four man smoke gank where it did feel like, yeah, they're in a horrible position, but they're not 100% done for, but it's it's kind of reached that point here. Yeah. Well, they do get a shackle onto the Ember Spirit, but unfortunately he's not yep. as weak as he once was. Much better Ember game from Jay than Much last better, time. yeah. The first one we saw was just embarrassing. <laughs> it was a warm-up game. Yeah, you had to get uh, ready. Yeah. Hey, Sans, he got his Midas, guys. <laughs> he bought the gem, too. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was wondering where I was going. No, he got to the Midas and then pulled the gem to the NS. But, uh... Yeah, this is... Four top net worth heroes still on the Mineski side. All right, we got to find something to bet about here before Ooh. this game ends. Um, How many deaths on the Kells? I don't know. He has 10 what's right your now. What's your scoreboard tab? Um, uh, it's either tab or tilde. No, it's tab. They're 
They're gonna get Roche. That might be something. Are they gonna get Roche? They're doing it really slowly. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna. Get, I was like, there's four heroes in there. They're gonna get Roche, but wow. uh, they've been scattered no, now. They know. They know. Timber is here. All right. Who ends with the higher net worth, Spirit Breaker or Spectre? Um. That's I'll tough, I'll say the Spectre. I'll say the Spectre. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, it's a good question. Just hope Spectre doesn't uh, yeah. buy back at any point. <laughs> and surely, if you're forced to buy back, it's GG. You'd rather yeah. just call it. Oh God! Come on, right, Lacels hit come creeps. On, take, take the other side, hit Greg. Hit creeps, Lacels. Right. Wait, what did you say? You said it was the Spectre. Said Spectre. I said the Spectre is gonna end up with more net worth. I mean, I think it's gonna be the Spectre. The All right, problem. Lacels. You missed. Right. The, you missed the last. <laughs> <hit>. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, just, that's when you know he's on tilt. He's, he got he got these couple, and you can't miss right, this with right. desolate. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no go desolate. back, go back. No, don't go. There's just, a nice. Just go there. back. Just go back. Just Any go back. Fine, fine. Let's fine. go back. Wait, there's no boots to travel. All right, I'm on Team Spirit Breaker. I believe you guys both think Spectre. I'm picking Spectre. All right, I'm taking Spirit Breaker. Just just to bet against you fools. All right, whatever. Why are you running away from them? No. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the, hit I also, the nudes. I mean, it's a very small thing, but I feel definitely should have got a Quelling Blade for the, oh, yeah. the jungle. Like, yeah, not yeah, having yeah. Quelling Blade is just... I don't know what he's doing mistake. right now. This Spirit Breaker always looks like he's about to charge in on the most solo <laughs> charge of his life. All right, <laughs> nice, Whoa. nice, Spirit Breaker. <laughs> yes. yes. He's still ahead, still ahead. Come on, Spectre, go in. Go in, five hack. <laughs> 2.7k. Oh, nice no, 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 Spectre. Just, land no, no, on. Spectre. Don't oh go in. God. What are you doing? Get out of here. Run away. Oh, he wants Shit. the kill. Don't get the kill. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Oh. Okay. They might actually call it here. Oh, God. Look at the He bought back. <laughs> back. He bought <laughs> back. <laughs> nice, oh, nice. He yes. bought back. Oh, he's not dead, though. He's going to die again. No. This is GG. We lost. Like Fuck my oh. life. Oh. oh. All right. <laughs> bought back. Back. On the bright side, I won <laughs> my bet. I only missed two true. kills. That's yeah, true. that's two in the jar for Charlie. Two, two in the jar for all Charlie, right, right. one for Gerg. Throw a red one in there for me too, buddy. Okay. <clears throat> oh. That jar is filling very fast. Yeah, it is. <laughs> me? I'm in the mm. dumpster? Yep. God damn it, Rob. <laughs> I won my part of the bet. I can't be in the dumpster. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the viewers don't see that, unfortunately. Oh, really? <laughs> that looked funnier for us. Oh, God. Oh. Quick, switch back. I accidentally went off the score screen. Okay. Nope, we're good. Well, well, we've got first place. Maneski go through. They win their yeah. group. And MVP versus Sig Trust decides second. That's going to be a tight, tense match. Playing for their Very lives. Important. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, both teams, I feel, once again, the playoff brackets will just... Anything can happen there. I think they're both capable of beating Yamate's team, who got second in their group. Fanatics favorites, so who knows there, but you get in the playoffs, you reset, so that's that's the thing. You just gotta win this one best of one. Who do you think it's gonna be? Ooh. That's a tough one. I'm giving it to MVP. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say it's after I feel Sig Trust just uh they're too consistently just like decent but not great. They don't have any. They never have these breakout performances from individual players. Um, they're very just draft and team play reliant. They're like they consistent. They normally draft pretty solid, but they never they, they, they never shine. That, that draft right out the window. Spectre, unfortunately. Yeah, I I, I, think I mean it they was, it they wanted a, to do some cute shit with the uh, spear breaker on dying off lane. The timber saw threw them off a lot. Yeah, I think the timber saw is what kind of undid the Even though, land, their landing. Like lands. looking back at the game, the timber saw didn't have much of an impact, apart, but it very much threw the lanes out the door by right. picking the timber saw. So I think it was a. I think ultimately good pick for that. the they didn't have a very flexible draft, whereas mm -hmm. um, Mineski did. Yeah. Like they they had uh, Queen of Pain, Night Stalker, and uh, Ember Spirit. All three of those heroes could have yeah. gone any to lane, yeah, any, any lane. lane. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, mm. last tiebreaker coming up. I think uh, Ben is subbing me out. Okay. Kay. After a while. We sub Not as long <laughs> as yesterday. Ten hours. How are you a in Elite? A, a Merlini for a K-Kona? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Lyrical is K-Kona, not me. Aren't you all K-Konas? 
Oh well, yeah, you, true, David, Lyrical. L- well, we now have got they have the third Mason. Merlini. Three, three LDS. Yeah, 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 we've got three Merlinis and three LDS yeah. now with Charlie's arrival. Oh yeah, yep. <laughs> nice. That's meme completion. We are the meme now. All right. Well, uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Uh, most likely, Ben will be here and we'll watch the last game of the qual or the tiebreakers. That's good. See you guys in a bit. Ha <laughs> <laughs>